you can hear those dogs barking out there. Honestly, I can't do anything. I just want to say that tonight is my very last show on Radio 2. After 14 years, I've never had a job for that long. The comedian and TV host Paul O'Grady passed away at the age of 67. Andrew Portacio, his husband, stated in a statement that his death on Tuesday evening was unexpected but calm. O'Grady became well-known in the 1990s as the host of the game show's Blankety Blank, using the drag queen persona Lily Savage. Later in his career, he hosted several talk shows, where he shared his passion for dogs with viewers. Paul's death was sudden and unexpected, yet he passed away quietly yesterday evening, as Mr. Portesio explained. His friends, family, and the animals he cared for, as well as anybody who appreciated his humor, wit, and compassion, will mourn his passing deeply. He would want me to express my gratitude for the support you've always given him. Recently, he toured with the musical Andy in the role of Miss Hannigan. O'Grady recently said on Instagram that was thoroughly loving playing the role again after such a lengthy hiatus, especially with a genuinely great and charming cast. Following a performance in Newcastle, in August of 2022, the radio host said he would no longer be hosting his regular Sunday afternoon program on Radio 2. In a little over two weeks, on Easter Sunday, he was scheduled to host on Boone Radio. According to Malcolm Prince, O'Grady's longtime radio producer, the celebrity was laughing, smiling, and full of life when he visited him at home on Tuesday afternoon. Mr. Prince tweeted, he was pleased to return to Boone Radio and excited about many upcoming endeavors, and he's left now. I refuse to accept it. We've lost a truly special person, and I've lost a trusted friend. On Wednesday morning, Zoe Ball stated this on her Radio 2 breakfast show. Our hearts are heavy this morning as we mourn the loss of our good friend Paul O'Grady. I'm sure he was adored by everyone at Radio 2 and beyond. ATV's Lorraine Kelly praised O'Grady, calling him a very remarkable man. Such terrible news. Paul O'Grady, humorous, bold, courageous, generous, and astute. A tweet was sent out by her, will be missed tremendously. Radio host Simon Mayo called O'Grady a beautiful man, always amusing and a radio natural, and TV host Amanda Holden praised him as strong, humorous, outspoken, no-nonsense, fantastic on Instagram. Presenter Vernon Kay called O'Grady, one of the loveliest and kindest individuals I've ever met, always a joy to be around and obviously so much fun, and singer and TV host Ala Jones called him a great lovely person. Winner of Season 4 of RuPaul's Drag Race UK Danny Bird called Paul O'Grady the most essential person in British culture for drag, according to BBC Breakfast. The presenter has been praised as a highly admired campaigner for LGBT plus equality and animal rights by activist Peter Tatchell. In 2012, O'Grady helped create the program for the love of dogs on ITV, which follows the workers at Battersea Dogs and Cats Home an organization for which he is an ambassador. In a single episode last year, he appeared alongside Camilla, Queen Consort, a devoted animal lover and fighter for the underdog. O'Grady was mourned by the animal shelter after his death. O'Grady was born to a mother whose last name, Savage, is thought to have inspired his now famous drag act. He was born in Birkenhead, in the Wirral Merseyside, in 1955. It was in the 70s that he first performed under the stage name Lily Savage. Later, the drag queen became known for her outspokenness on LGBT issues during a solo show that ran for eight years at London's Royal Vauxhall Tavern. After a brief stint hosting the BBC talk show The Lily Savage Show in 1997, he helmed a new edition of the game show Blankety Blank, which aired until 2002. After that, from 2004 to 2005, he presided over the ITV Tea Time show The Paul O'Grady Show, which then moved to Channel 4 from 2006 to 2009. ITV brought it back in 2013 and ran it for another year. Due to his health problems, the talk program was hosted by other people in 2013. In 2002 and again in 2006, he suffered heart attacks that sent him to the hospital. The broadcaster also replaced her close friend Scylla Black as host of the Channel 5 dating show's Blind Date in 2017. 
O'Grady has received multiple accolades for his work on The Paul O'Grady Show, including a TV BAFTA, a British Comedy Award, and a National Television Award. For his contributions to the entertainment industry, he was awarded an MBE in the Queen's Birthday Honors in 2008. The famous TV actor and his girlfriend Diane Jansen welcomed a daughter in 1974 after meeting and falling in love with a Portuguese lesbian in 1977. He tied the knot and had no intention of ever divorcing her until 2005. In 2017, he tied the knot with his partner in a ceremony held in London. O'Grady, a resident of Aldington, a village close to Ashford, was made a deputy lieutenant in Kent that November. The position serves as the king's representative at local functions.